Welcome back, friends. We are here for episode three of Random Rambles. And today we're going to spice things up and, well, one, I'm not alone, clearly. It's me. You're so stoic. Yeah. Um, I was, I've been talking to Charlie and I've been wanting to do a video like this for a while now. Just talking about, kind of similar to a monthly favorites, but I was like, there's so much more than just like makeup and what I'm like, let's, let's talk about like, like monthly obsessions or just like something in general, like what we can't seem to be getting enough of or what we've been just completely mm -hmm. taken away with. I don't yep. know. So I actually physically brought some of the things that I've been really obsessed with and I see that my husband brought his... I've got note cards. He's got note cards. You're so studious. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't know how you want to do it. Dawn and I, Dawn and I did a monthly favorites uh, and we just kind of did every other. Yep, let's go back and do forth. Do you want to go back and forth? Yep. Well, you are the guest to this, so I'd say you can go first. Plus, they also say age before beauty, so you can go first. Have fun. All right, then. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, we're getting really close to spring. Can I just interrupt you for a moment and say it looks like you're doing a speech? <laughs> ah, I'm so sorry. Love speeches. Anyway, it's getting close to spring. Spring brings baseball. I love baseball. I love baseball than a lot of things. Not more than you, but I love my baseball. So, I have not been able to get enough baseball news. It's been a very slow winter. There's been not a lot of free agent signings. A lot of money being thrown around where it shouldn't be, so players aren't getting signed. It's been very boring. I'm ready for baseball. Spring training is now in full swing. It was just going, just starting when we left for our trip. So, end of this month, here in March, we have baseball. And I'll be happy. As opposed to the rest of the year, if you're not happy... No, I'm I don't happy, know. I, but I have baseball. I now. tried so hard to like not make like a like a silly face or whatever. <laughs> like, I know absolutely nothing about baseball. It does not excite me <laughs> the way a nice like eyeshadow palette does. <laughs> so like I get it. I get it. Yep. Um, I think I have more written down, or I don't even have anything written down. I just wing it. I just I'm winging everything. Hairstyle, my hairstyle, like life. This video. And you're like really prepared. No, I'm not prepared. It took five seconds, wrote a few things down. and Well, I'm glad you're down. honest. I was going to, this one, we're not sponsored, but if we were, I'd be like, hint water, you need to sponsor us. Because this is my other obsession. Um, I quit drinking pop last year. Not that, th this is just a side note into this whole business here. I quit drinking soda last year. I hence started it up after I went a full year. I went a full year without drinking soda and then celebrated by having a soda. <laughs> Anyway, you know, but uh, we have a subscription to Hint where they send you three, how many, there's 24 bottles in each one, or is it 12? 12. I think it's 12. 24 yeah. would be a lot. So you get to pick, I think it's three, 12 You get packs. to actually configure your subscription however you want. We chose, what? yeah, you can have as big as small. I didn't put this together. I just know I selected my flavors. Yes. And this you is can, uh, it's as many and as little hint as you want. If you want to get one 12 pack every two weeks or a month, you can do that. If you want to get five, you can do that. We get three every two weeks. Well, we drink them when like friends and stuff come over, mm -hmm. they drink them. Mm -hmm. Our children don't drink them because it doesn't have sugar in it. <laughs> um, this uh, is the watermelon and it's just like water infused. It's just, it says it's in, oh my goodness, stumble over my words. I'm scatting like Mel Torme. Am I saying his name right? I have no idea. I'll we'll have to look that up and let you know. Um, it says the watermelon. It's water infused with watermelon and other natural flavors from non-GMO plants, unsweetened, and you should enjoy it chilled, it says. But um, I really enjoy the watermelon and the cherry flavored. Mm -hmm. I, I really struggle to drink water and um, without dumping like the crystal light. And like I think in my blessed box, I have those uh, little packets yep. that I had already done, like the true lemon. Yep. So just, I don't know, just another way to get some more water in that's not, you know, littered with artificial sweeteners. But check it out. Do some research on it. Hint water. It's really good. It's very good. It's drinkhint.com. What? Drinkhint.com. Drinkhint.com. For, drink for those inquired. We'll link it. Moving on. Um... If you know me too well, you know that uh, I listen to a lot of music. I'm a, a nerd, obviously, and I actually have been tracking what I listen to 
all the time for the last like nine years. It's called Scobbling. It's it's uh, links up with your apps. You can so it tracks what you listen to, so you can see your trending, what you've listened to for the last seven days or whatever. Anyway, since I think I think actually it's going on almost ten years now. I think it was two thousand eight when I started, and I have over five hundred thousand Scrabbles. So anyway. Um, <laughs> With that said, I also have a very eclectic taste in music from operas and musicals to classical and all the way up to black and death metal. And most everything in between. There's a few genres. It's so matter of fact. There's we like a, black and death metal. There's a few genres in there that I refuse to touch, like country and pop music. But that aside, uh, I've been listening to a lot of uh, American folk singer named uh, Sam Baker, who is... Um, I guess it's referred to as spoken word melodies. He doesn't really sing per se. He plays guitar and it's it's melodic, but it's more spoken word than actual like a, a singing voice. So um, it's it. he's got an interesting story. He was on a, a train in 1986 in Peru, and there was a it was a terrorist group had a bomb on there and it blew up, and there was a bunch of casualties and stuff, which is a sad story. But he fortunately survived, but with many injuries and has blown ear, eardrums and has constant ear ringing. So he really can't hear all that well. And now he's a musician, which is kind of interesting. Good for him, though. And um, one of his injuries was to his hand, and so it's really kind of gnarled up. And But he has enough dexterity to hold a pick with his left hand, so he plays the guitar left-handed now. He's naturally right-handed, so... Uh, it's fun. It's kind of very inspirational type lyric yeah. stuff, and I'm not much of a lyric guy. I have music. I love musicianship and like the technical nature of music, but his lyrics are really kind of inspirational and very nice. So that's I like nice. that. I was gonna say that's always like the one thing that's really frustrating. We both like music for some. Like I like very, to listen to the music, but reasons. I love listening to the lyrics and understanding the meaning behind something. And so I will say to Charlie all the time. Oh, this song makes me think of you. What song makes you think of me? And you're like, Pfft. and then my soul is know. crushed. And then I, I have know. to move on and try to understand that not everybody listens to music the way that right. I think that they should. We are we are uh, driving around tonight, and she turns to me and goes, "There was a, a big drum fill in the song we we're listening to." And she goes to me, "That's something you would really like there," because I was actually filling and drumming along on the steering wheel as I, I was wasn't driving, paying attention. So. You were not, were you really? I was. I wasn't. I was looking out the window. I was. I, just I was like, doing the fill on the the steering wheel. I sometimes just because I. I mean, I do deep down love you somewhere, somewhere just somewhere. a little bit. Somewhere just a little bit, I love you. But, uh, like, I start listening for those things in, in music and think, oh, Charlie would probably really like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, the cat is out again. That is poop doo Hi, Willow. If you hear the little pitter-patter of cute sure. little kitty paws and a little kitty voice, that's Willow. It's our cat. poop doo Anyway. Anyway, anyway I'm sorry, we're going to put basking in her glow. Back to you. Back to me. So... Did you really think I could do an obsession with a video or something that I'm without talking about something makeup related? There is more to me than makeup though. There's more to, I have more to offer, but <laughs> little tidbit. Um, I've been really into Morphe eyeshadows. I did, it was which video? I think it was like my second rambles had the, my, the first Morphe palette I ever bought, which was like the copper spice. And I was so underwhelmed when I got it. Cause it's like all the colors were the same. And I was just, <sighs> I'm glad I took a chance because this one is the Morphe and is the 35F, which is like their fall, fall into frost palette is the, is the name of it. And for those of you that are on Ulta and do the rewards, you get like rewards for all of your purchases or whatever. And so I had done some shopping and some hauls and stuff that I had built up enough rewards to have like $17 off a purchase. So this palette was like $23 and I uh, had enough for like 17 or 20 dollars i can't remember how much anyway i paid six dollars for this and which was basically a couple bucks for the palette and then shipping and it's beautiful we, when we went on our cruise like this is all i used i'm gonna try to open it for you because it is stunning stunning i bought it solely for this shade and this shade and they are my favorites out of there but like all along the bottom here are all mattes i will never touch this black one but it's nice to have it Sure. Um, and I swatched them all. They're, they're wonderful, like the mattes even. Not, like, because sometimes those can be chalky, and these really weren't that bad. And the rest of these are all shimmers, and they're just gorgeous. My other complaint in that Copper Spice one, that first one, it didn't have like a brown highlight, a brow highlight. And these were really pretty. Again, on vacation, took this palette with me. Love it. Um, 
I got another one with my, my husband for Valentine's Day. Got me a gift card to Ulta, so I did buy their Taupe Taupe <laughs> 35T palette. And this one, one thing too I noticed too is like the difference in the packaging. So I'm not sure what that's all about, but I love the shadows just the same. This one didn't have a brown bone highlight, but they it's just beautiful. I really like those mauve -y. One of the gals I watch on YouTube calls it mauve and it drives me nuts. Let me know if I'm saying it incorrect or if she's saying it incorrect. I need to know. I need validation on this. Mauve <laughs> colors. Um, can I include the other one too since it is also an eyeshadow? Donuts. Thanks, boo. Um, ColourPop does their Super Shock shadows. And uh, I got this one in Waddles. I don't know if you can see it. I've used this thing. I took this off cruise so you can like see the pan there. I have worn this one thin. It's just a really pretty and subtle. Um, I use it a lot as my crease, like in my inner crease or whatever. Or, and I don't know. I don't even know how to formulate the sentence I want to put down to describe how much I love ColourPop's Super Shock shadows. Especially like they're more uh, neutral colors because they just make such um, good crease colors. I think I said inner crease and I meant to say crease and that word was tripping me up. Regardless, check it out. I think I got those when they were on sale for three or four dollars. I think they're normally like five. So I mean, it wasn't a huge discount, but check it out. It's not gonna break the, it's not gonna break the bank. Yeah, it's always wonderful not to break your bank. I give you so much crap too. You're actually, he's actually really supportive about it. Um, as long as I'm not going nuts and you know, you know, pushing us to bankruptcy, but whatever with, with spending, but like you're actually really right, supportive. Right. I put a lot on there about how I don't want to disrupt our marriage, ruin our marriage with, with makeup. I but anyway, I, I watch your videos. Oh, you edit the videos. I of do course edit you them. Do. Uh, another thing I want to talk about is, I mean, obviously being, you know, the one half of two beards and board game is, you know, talking about a board game I'm kind of obsessed with. I got two of them actually. Um, we received a kickstarted item from, you know, CM Unlimited. It's the newest in the Zombie Side series called Green Horde. You've actually played it yourself a couple of times with us now. Um, I love Zombie Side games. I love Did the you say Green Horde uh, yeah. because we will be uploading a video of this last night, last Saturday night. We do game nights. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm interrupting. Uh, where we all played it, so you check out that episode. Yeah, so Zombie Side. It's been a favorite series of mine for quite a long time one of my favorite dungeon crawlers i love just rolling dice and killing zombies and all the miniatures and i love stuff like that um along the same lines is another big huge game the game weighs over 20 pounds which is amazing in and of itself it's a game called gloomhaven it's a campaign based game where there's i think 190 uh campaigns of you know scenarios you go through to finish the game so there's you know it would take a, y a year for probably hardcore people to get through so uh there's a lot to it there's characters we, you know name characters do things it's got a really interesting combat system with some cards and the initiative and stuff like that and you know we try to play did that did you do a video on this yet like we haven't no just because there's, there's so much going on with gloomhaven that it's a lot to take in so anyway that game is awesome both of those games are awesome. I still have like two more things. To I got one about. more I can add on the fly. So I have three more things actually now that I think about it. I'll include, I'll include two together. But anyway, um, my next one was going to be these two were just supposed to represent my obsession with skincare. So when I initially started my little makeup journey um, through these subscription boxes and then further research on my own, I. Uh, started to delve in deeper to actual skincare itself and so some of the things that i had been using a lot of this is the olay regenerous the micro sculpting cream i don't know how much of it is in my head or how much of it is like i i think i said in my blessed box video about being 29 what four times now three 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 times oh my gosh i made myself older math is hard <laughs> um anyway uh it just I've been obsessing about the fine lines and whatnot. And so trying to find moisturizers for that. Cause you gotta take care of your skin. Um, I got this in a glossy box out actually. It's a Purity Dew Drops and it's supposed to help with puffiness and fine lines. I had another one from Celebrate Your Bless from last year that took me forever to use up, but I used it up and moved on to this. I think I had another one in a blessed box. I got another one in another wear. So I have some, I have a little stock for these eye creams, but that's definitely been, um, 
a point of interest. I think I talk to you about my eye creams at least once or twice a week as I'm putting them on. I lecture him about it. And then I'll inspect his face for fine lines. I think I told you the other day that you had some. You still look good, kid. I'm gonna do it. I really don't care how I look. All right. <laughs> <laughs> What's your last one? Uh, I want to talk about uh, Marvel's Infinity Wars movie coming out at the end of April. Now we're getting close to it. It's a month and a half away. I'm also a huge Marvel fanboy, and I'm excited to see where this movie is going to take the Marvel Universe. Because, you know, actors' contracts are getting up. What is going to happen with, you know, Captain America and Iron Man? You know, are they going to kill some characters off? Because obviously characters die in the comic books. And there's some stuff they're kind of lining up where it could take place. You know, who's going to be the new Captain America if Chris Evans decides not, well, he's not deciding. He doesn't want to be Captain America anymore, which is, you know, understandable. I keep interrupting all of yours, but I just have so much I want to say. Mm -hmm. I think you and Frozy, leave a comment below if you want to see Frozy and Charlie do like a two beards and a board game mini, like between the games series in regards to conversations like this. Because I bet you and Frozy could talk forever. We actually had a, a almost a two hour conversation in the car the one time going to Caden's play. Just talking about what's going to happen at the Marvel Universe with Let us know. Black Let Panther and Infinity Wars and where they're going from there. So, you know, back to that, there's, um, you know, what's going to happen to Captain America? Because Chris Evans doesn't want to do Captain America anymore. That's understandable. He's done his nine movies or whatever. He's been doing some writing. He's been doing some directing and producing. So he kind of wants to do more than just be known as Captain America his entire acting career. You know, and he's actually a pretty decent actor. And he, we've seen some of his... The one movie he wrote, which is actually kind of enjoyable, and then which there's one a, was that one? Uh, was it the playing it one? cool. That's the one he directed. Oh, he directed. This is the one where he was the, I think he was the writer, and Anthony Mackie was with him, and it was. Did I watch this with you? You probably fell asleep. It was. It was pretty. <laughs> it was. It was. It was. It was. It was fun. It was a romantic comedy. That aside, if they do decide to kill him off, who's going to be the new Captain America? You know, in the comics, Falcon is Captain America currently. You know, Bucky, who's the Winter Soldier, who's going to be a White Wolf, has also been Captain America. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens there. And like Thor with Chris Hemsworth, he's going to want to move on. And, you know, he, the original Thor has died in the comic books, and his daughter now is the new Thor. So there's just this whole range of things they can do, and this is going to be the big turning point in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So I'm very excited to see what's going to happen. Did you see my face, like, glaze over? I'm sure it's like me when you're talking about makeup. Probably. Touche. <laughs> Touche, friend. Um, I'm going to combine my last one. That was very good. You sound so intelligent. Um, I'm going to combine my last couple uh, with some things that I've just been really interested in. Um, the first one has been conspiracy theories. And this all started with, uh, I think... Charlie loves to listen to music, and I like music too. I like, I'm very into, like, I love me some progressive metal. Devin Townsend Project. I love them. But, or symphonic metal too. Like, I love Nightwish. But, um, that would be symphonic metal, right? Yes, there's symphonic metal. Anyway, there's so many metal genres. Like, Charlie was telling me about a map, <laughs> and it was just, it blew my mind. <laughs> I think if you Google map of metal, there's, like, 50 to 60 subgenres yeah. of heavy metal and it's just insane. Yeah. There's actually a Christian black metal subgenre where it's I remember you Christian me that. themes with black metal style music where black metal is usually very demonic, very evil sort of lyrics. But this is the same sort of style that they record with you know, a tape recorder and they want the worst recording because it's the most hardcore and felt or whatever they say it is. Anyway. This was not on. the tangent I was wanting to go on, but conversations we have all the time just the same so when I'm not listening to that I really love listening to audiobooks and I love listening to podcasts so I was just flipping through trying out a new podcast and I listened to the slow burn and it was all about Watergate and I became obsessed I listened and that's putting it lightly like I was listening to that podcast and then I started listening to YouTube uh, documentaries about it just obsessed I was reading this book. It's a Watergate book. <laughs> I was reading it on the plane when we were on our cruise. Mm -hmm. or, or on the plane to go to our cruise, not a plane on our cruise, because I said that completely messed up. But you get the, the idea. idea. Um, I have this. I was listening. I bought the book Frost Nixon. That's on my reading list. Like, 
obsessed with Watergate. So, and that led to, oh, by the way, I don't know if I told you, when we were on the cruise, I had this book and I, remember that lady I was right, talking right. to? She was, we started talking about Watergate. She gave me this mag, this little newspaper article from the Times because she was talking about, I don't even know if I can say it on YouTube, all the things like they were talking about, you know, just, uh, anyway, it was really interesting. I don't know how much I really should share about that, but it was really interesting and meeting her and talking to her about those experiences because it has been an obsession. <laughs> but it's led to other podcasts and other, uh, like I've been listening to Kendall Ray a lot and her husband, Joshua Dore, listening to conspiracy, conspiracy theories. And just, um, I love learning, like just critical thinking and developing my own theories and listening to all these different just ways to explain something. And then it's, I think it's really mind opening. Some of the things that I listened to just were like hit me in the face. Like, wow, that just makes a ton of sense. And I don't know. It really, I like, I feel like we're nerdy in different ways. And like, I just love listening. Like they did one on, was it the Titanic is one I listened to recently. I think I just listened to one early, earlier tonight about the West Memphis three mm -hmm. and you know, that whole business. And Oh man, I could talk forever on it. Let us know if you want to listen to some of those too. Cause I definitely think that there's more besides, you know, doing the unboxing chat that we can, you know, delve down if some of you are nerdy. Right. I like think us. that's the idea of kind of our umbrella is just to branch and do whatever we want. If we wanted to keep something generic and just do what we want to do, you know, as board games, music, makeup you know but i feel like you know and i have even told you like there's just i feel like there's so much more that nerd and chic excuse me unbox each other like we can offer than just doing makeup as i hiccup and stuff sorry about that guys excuse me I'm trying to talk um it's just delving into some of those things that are just interest so like for that it would be you know the conspiracy theories and i mean i really watergate i'm telling you it was really interesting uh the slow burn is the name of the podcast and it it was truly fascinating if you like podcasts i have actually never listened to a podcast in my life i also like to listen to will wheaton's radio free burrito that's a good one too i recommend it just listening to his stories I think that's really all I have. I'm going to I'm going to check out now. Um, before I ramble on this video is already going to be 80 years long. 80 years. 80 years. Okay. Sounds good. Well, um thank you for sticking around this long. If you made it to the end of this incredibly long video, we appreciate you viewing it. Um be sure to check out Nerd and Chic. We you know, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're on Twitter. Uh, be sure to check those out and see what's coming down the pipeline. We like to try to keep those things up to date as well. I think that's really all we have. If you liked us and liked this video, give us a nice auntie thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you know when we post future videos. Thanks, guys. We appreciate you. We'll see you next time. Feel like David Letterman.